Hi, Eric. Okay, so I've thought more about this question number 14 from your homework. Sorry if there's background noise. I'm at the um, lacrosse practice. But so um, I changed the question slightly. I changed it to say, um, using what you know about intercepts, given the circle x squared plus y squared equals 16 and the ellipse 3x squared plus y squared equals 24, can you find the coordinates of a, b, and c? Okay, so the first thing that I did was I actually looked at the ellipse, okay? Now, I do want you to know that in standard form, an ellipse has to be set equal to 1. So I am just going to show you that. Um, you would divide everything by 24 and you'd get, we talked about it, x squared over um, 8 plus y squared over 24 equals 1. And I told you that the, um, the, the major axis and the minor axis you got from taking the square root of those two numbers. However, let's think about that equation for a second. Um, because A and B actually fall right on the axis, well, they're the intercepts of the graph. So I thought to myself, A, the value of x at that a coordinate is 0, so I set x equal to 0. And I got 3 times 0 squared plus y squared equal that whole thing. Oh my gosh, 24. Let me erase that because that looks yucky. So 24. So this whole thing goes away, so I get y squared equals 24, so y equals root 24. So that point A then, up there, is the coordinate point 0, root 24, and you could get root 24 in your calculator. I don't have my calculator handy, so I'm going to ask you to do that. All right, again, I'm sorry this is so messy, but this is really nice to know because now you see it along the y-axis, it's just going to be the square root of that number. All right, and then the b is the same thing, but in this case, the y is equal to 0. So you set y equal to 0, and that's going to go away, and you get 3x squared equals 24. You divide by both sides by 3. You get x squared equals 24, and so x equals 8. So then the coordinate of b, I'm sorry, is square root of 8. The coordinate of b would then be root 8 comma 0. Okay, now, C is a little bit m more challenging um, because C is not an intercept. And you know that the radius is 4. Okay. All right. So I do know that that point... Um, that point that is that is C is also on the ellipse, okay? All right, so what I decided to do is look at the equation. So let me erase here. Actually, I'm going to go to a new page. Okay, so I had x squared plus y squared equaled 16, and I had 3x squared plus y squared equaled 24. All right, so I decided that I noticed that they both had a y squared in them. So I decided to solve each equation for the y squared. So I subtracted x squared on this side, and I subtracted 3x squared on this side. So I changed the equations to y squared equals 16 minus x squared, and y squared equals 24 minus 3x squared. Because they're both equal to y squared, I can set them equal to each other. So 16 minus x squared equals 24 minus 3x squared. And then I just solve. So um, I'm going to add 3x squared to both sides and subtract 16. And so I get, I'm going to come up here, sorry, this is so messy. 2x squared equals 8, divide by 2, so x squared equals 4, so x equals 2, and I take the square root of both sides. All right, so x equals 2, 
at that point where they intersect because that's where they intersect. So I've got to find the y at that value that's on the circle. So I take the 2 and I plug it in and I get 4 plus y squared equals 16. Subtract 4 on both sides. So y squared equals 12 and I take the square root of both sides. So y equals root 12. So the coordinate of point C that's on the circle is going to be 2 root 12. Okay, And again, I'm sorry that's so messy, but I just thought it would be helpful for you to see it um, using what you really already know, using what you know about intercepts, and then using what you know about um, substitution for equations. So hopefully that helps. Talk to you soon. Bye.